everyone, it's Nona Grace, and I'm from Western New York, and I don't have any videos for you today, but I do have Emily. Hi! <laughs> and I have Jim. Hi! <laughs> and today I said to Emily, I says, okay, what what's exciting out there in this world? Because, you know, I'm home. I was home with the kids, and the thing that I learned today is I learned latitude and longitude, how to, if I had to charter a ship, I could do it, maybe. I said, well, I got the first one right and the second one wrong, so who knows where that ship will end up. <laughs> but my grandson was thinking it was pretty fun to teach me how to do the, the charting on the chart. And I think I can do it, but I said to him, he says, you you must have learned this. And I says, yeah, probably 50 years ago. So it's been a little while, just a little while. Okay, now Emily brought to my attention that the Dr. Seuss books... Six of them are getting pulled because they are quote unquote e offensive. Would you like to know the names of the books that are they're pulling because they think they're offensive? And why are they offensive? Do you remember? Apparently, the art depictions show people of different races in an unflattering light, which is <laughs> ridiculous because all of his characters look like they're from a different dimension. Definitely. So you may want to go out and pick up these books. Yeah, because they're well, two days ago classics. they were taken away. Oh, they're probably so probably they're probably now. not. They're well, just like just some. like my little black Sambo. Mm. I loved that story, and my kids Me loved too. that story. All it was is about a little boy bragging is my mind, and the tigers were very greedy, and they stole his clothes, and then they got greedy, and they turned into butter. That's what I remember. And then they and, get pancakes. And then they get pancakes because they found the butter around the tree and they bring it home and the mama makes pancakes and Little Black Sambo ate a hundred and some odd, num and the mom ate, I think, 99 or some crazy number and the father ate something and Little, little Black Sambo, he ate a hundred and some odd pancakes. I can't remember now because it's been many years. I liked that one and I liked the Little Gingerbread Man which there probably is no little gingerbread man anymore because guess what else? Uh -huh. <coughs> I got excited and I'm coughing. <laughs> you can turn the heater off. I think it's because the air is dry. Oh, the air oh, is dry in here. Very warm and dry. <coughs> well, anyways, I will tell you the names of the books. But before I go there, I want to tell you about the, the um, little gingerbread boy. There is no little gingerbread boy or little gingerbread man. I don't think they, that that one, I don't know what they would, they would probably would just say the little gingerbread. No man, or no boy, no girl, no nothing. Because Mr. Potato Head, what they doing with Mr. Potato Head? He is no longer Mr. Potato Head. He is being rebranded <coughs> as just Potato Head. Even though there's a Mr. and a Mrs. So you can choose whether you want the girl or the boy. Well, now they're neither nor. <laughs> Either or. So, we can't be called Mr. and Mrs. anymore? Apparently not. Oh, good grief. What that are they supposed to call crazy. me? By my last name or my first name? Hmm. That doesn't show any respect, actually. Okay, now the books. We'll get to that. The books are, and I think I saw it at, I saw it on Mulberry Street. And I think I saw it on Mulberry Street is one of the books. If I ran the zoo... Mick Alligut's Pool, On Beyond Zebra, Scrambled Egg Supper, and the Cat's Quizier, Quizier, Quiz, the Cat's Q U I Z Z E R, Quizier, 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 Cat's Quizier, Cat's Quizier, whatever a Cat's Quizier is, I don't know, <laughs> that's a whatever. Well, the Quizzers are usually like, uh, Games or questions of people. Cats, a quiz. Say, yeah, okay, quizzer. Okay, and then after she told me this, then she tells me about this crazy song. The oh. song of the year is not offensive, but yet Dr. Seuss is. The song of the year by NPR, they voted for WAP by Cardi B. 
as the number one song of the year. The national and it public. is so inappropriate. And and WAP is, I don't know, not very nice. She said what it was. So but. inappropriate. <laughs> <laughs> so it's really bad. So if you know bad stuff, I guess it's approved. If you got good stuff, it's not approved. And if you're really curious, ask Mr. Google. Ask Google I was what say, you can Google it is. It. And I, because I, I ain't saying it, I, I'm not saying it. <laughs> ain't is not a word, but it is in the dictionary now. <laughs> <laughs> yep. That's so crazy. Okay, I hope you enjoyed this video. I will see you all tomorrow. Bye-bye. Bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.